sa darating na 2010 presidential elections, approximately 34 million Filipino youth are predicted to participate and vote. According to Youth Vote Philippines, 50% ito ng voting population sa buong bansa. I think that the Philippines needs a very important change in the country now. So, I think everyone's vote counts. This is our power to influence change. I will vote uh, so that I can uh, support the democracy of this country. Mas matindi na nga ang awareness sa eleksyon ng kabataan at mas marami na sa atin ang gustong makialam para sa pagbabago. Kaya naman noong October 24, 2009, inimbita ng Speak ang representatives ng Bawat Youth Group na sumusuporta sa would-be presidentials during that time. Binigyan din ng Speak ang kabataan Pinoy ng opportunity na marinig ang kanilang mga katanungan tungkol sa mga isyong hinaharap ng Philippines. Filipino youth na yun. A lot of this can be changed if you elect a leader na ang interest lang talaga ay yung pagsilbihan yung, yung taong bayan. You expanding our revenue base and also revisiting our educational system. What are they planning to do for the people with disabilities, including the deaf who are part of the youth sector. And now that the May 2010 elections is just months away, Why Speak aims to empower the young Filipino voters more by bringing the presidential candidates closer to them para personal na masagot ang kanila mga katanungan tungkol sa edukasyon, employment, poverty, national disasters, at iba pa. This is Why Vote 2010, a Why Speak election special. Why Vote 2010, a Why Speak election special. Now, last year, we started the advocacy of empowering the youth vote para sa 2010 presidential elections. At sa pagpasok ng bagong taon and three months before the election, tuloy-tuloy pa rin tayo sa pagbibigay lakas sa boses ng kabataan by helping you form an informed choice. And uh, we will get to know our presidential balls uh, closely and we'll get to know them personally. Eto, sino ba sila at ano ba ang magagawa nila para sa bayan at lalo na para sa kabataan. Isa-isa namin silang ipapakilala sa inyo at ihaharap sa inyo. And we will start things off with the youngest of the group. Watch this. Bata pa lang, nakitaan na ng kakaibang talino at dedikasyon sa public service si Gilberto Gibo Teodoro. He was elected as Central Luzon's Kabataang Barangay President for five consecutive years. He finished his Bachelor of Science major in financial institutions at De La Salle University in Manila. He studied law in the University of the Philippines and topped the Philippine bar exams. And in 1997, after taking his Master's of Law at the very prestigious Harvard University in Massachusetts, he was able to pass the New York State Bar Examinations. Tatlong beses siyang na-elect as First District Representative of Tarlac, kung saan human rights at pagsulong ng ekonomiya ang naging priority niya. Siya din ang pinakabatang naging Secretary ng Department of National Defense, kaya naman importante para sa kanya ang national security. Sa madaming taon na naibuhos niya sa public service, alam ni Gibo ang halaga ng paglilingkod na walang hinihintay na kapalit. Galing at talino, dyan kilala si Gibo. Pero sa likod nito, sino nga ba talaga si Gilberto Gibo Teodoro? At paano niya haharapin ang mga isyu ng kabataang Pinoy ngayon? It is an honor for us to have him here on Wise to Speak. Please welcome Secretary Gibo Teodoro. Good evening, Bianca. Good evening to all, all the members of the audience and to all the televiewers. How do you want us to call you? Call me Gibo. Call me Gilbert. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. And actually, we'll get to interact more with our students here today with our kabarkada in the audience. We have Mikey. Good evening, Bianca. Excited ng magtanong kay Gibo ang ating audience from Ateneo, UP, La Salle, and STI. Kanina nakipagkwentuhan ako sa ating mga students dito and excited na silang malaman ang mga views ni Gibo tungkol sa education, disaster management, and syempre, corruption at kung paano matutugunan ang problemang ito. Personally, excited na rin ako malaman kung ano ang views ni Gibo tungkol dito. Back to you, Bianca. Thank you, Mikey. Yes, we will cover all of that. Actually, we'll start things on a very, very light note because I'm sure all the forums that you go to and all the interviews you grant for TV, for radio, for print, lahat, 
issue. So, ano mo But dito, kasama natin mga estudyante, we'd like to get to know more about you as a gibo, as a, as a person. So, we'll start with mga slumbo questions. Ako lang ba yun? Okay, okay lang. Nickname on the internet. Gilbert Gibo. That's it. Ah, that's it. No. Okay. My, my full name is Gilberto. Yes. And you're a junior. Yes, my father was nicknamed Bert. That's why my name. Yeah. Ah, he was Bert and you're... Gilbert. Gilbert. Okay. Pero Gilberto Parejo. Right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Um, something you can't leave home without. Oh, my pants, definitely. <laughs> Tama. <laughs> Favorite music? Beach House. Uh, oh, this 80s. one. We're playing oh, yeah. something for you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Beer by Itchy Worms. Yeah. Grab it! so shocked when they said that you like that song. Talaga? Yeah. Oh, sobra laki ng smile. It cannot be denied. You really like that song. That's too yes. cute. Uh, because uh, in a in fellowships with the younger officers, mm -hmm. new graduates, they asked, uh, you know, they asked me to listen to it while mm -hmm. they were singing it. And uh, it's catchy, you know. Of course, some of the words are probably <laughs> a bit, you know, uh, right up the edge, but you know, it's catchy beat. Okay, most unforgettable date. My first date with my wife, Nikki. Where was it? That was love at first sight. Oh. Where did you meet? Actually, faces. Probably wow. you're too young to remember. On a night out. Yeah. And then, how did you approach her? Said, Hi, do you remember me? And she said, Yes, being polite. <laughs> From the first time I met her, actually, she was never my girlfriend. It was dogged persistence, and then finally, she asked me, do you want to get married? <laughs> for real? Really? Oh, she says yes! Oh my gosh! So for all the girls, and I guess watching, just go for it. How did you know that she was the one? Immediately. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. That's the dream of every girl, no? Yung... Rough estimate, how many green colored tops do you have in your cabinet? Probably about 15 to 20. Oh, really? 15 to 20, yeah. Oh, my. Okay, we will now turn things over to Mikey in the audience. They have some questions. Uh, hi, good evening, Gabo. Uh, I'd just like to ask, uh, based on your experience as a public servant, uh, is there any personal advocacy which you have come to value the most and if uh, there is uh, what plans of action do you have uh, to pursue this advocacy the most important thing is to advocate long-term forward-looking planning in our country uh, I think it's one of the greatest causes of uncompetitiveness of the Philippines because of our situation as a developing country and because they're really crippling issues you have to deal with ad hoc daily the focus on long-term planning is lost and the people people also probably get into the mindset that what's the use of long-term planning because six years you have a rotation of administrations anyway so I think you have to create that mindset you have to establish long-term plans get political accord and harmony that these long-term plans are good for the country regardless of the politics alongside a lot of realistic and pragmatic solutions to phenomena in the country i know morality is really important but sometimes to reduce unwanted behavior might as well give incentives for the behavior you want how about you crystal what's on your mind my Hi, question crystal. is